which I've never known a, a, a house uh, to dominate so many headlines as Frogmore Cottage. Uh, but uh, something to do with the Sussexes, uh, Harry and Meghan, uh, struck a deal uh, with Buckingham Palace that they would not have to pay any more rent on Frog Frogmore Cottage because uh, uh, after they paid back £2.4 million of taxpayer money uh, used on its refurbishment. So what was this all about, Charlie? Right, what happened was that when Frogmore Cottage was given to uh, the couple as, in effect, a wedding present by the uh, by the Queen, uh, they had to, or it wasn't a wedding present, because they had to pay a commercial rent, uh, which was about £150,000 um, a, a, a year. Now, they only paid a few months, because if you remember, that's when they decided to up sticks and head off uh, to um, uh, Los Angeles, um, Montecito. Uh, but of course, if you remember as well, there was a huge outcry because just before they moved in, there was an awful lot of uh, refurbishment went, 2.4 million. Now, lots of people, everybody jumped up and down, saying we paid 2.4 million, these two have you know, jumped ship and gone off. And so they were in effect forced. This is not them sort of thinking, oh, let's, let's save the money and let's give it all back. They were forced to give this money back to the, um, to the Privy Purse. That's 2.4 million, our money. Um, but of course they've done a deal, uh, which showed that they didn't have to pay any rent anymore. Partially because, Kevin, they were not coming back here. I think they have only used it once uh, in recent times. I think it was when they came, well, when Harry and Meghan came back for some uh, jubilee, I think it was, uh, they stayed there. So that's the essence of it. But of course, people are saying, well, hang on a minute. Why have they, you know, got this free rental place? Um, but I suspect it's because they were never going to use it. They've only used it once. And what's the, what's the, the actual score with Frogmore Cottage now then? It, 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 right. You know, it, hypothetically, right. if uh, uh, Harry and Meghan came back for the coronation, we, uh, we don't know who's going to come, how many of them, if any. Uh, but suppose they both did come back, maybe even brought the kids. Uh, would they stay at Frogmore Cottage? Is, is it always <laughs> there for them? No, it's not there always there for them because Frogmore Cottage is now going to house that other bad penny. So he's going to move in there. Now, um, I suspect though that's not going to happen for some months. So to answer your question, if Harry and Meghan come over, even if it's with the kids, they could well stay at Frogmore Cottage or one of the other places. But Frogmore Cottage, it, it would be the best place because it's within the confines of the royal palaces and it would be easy to protect them without actually giving them extra security uh, you mentioned prince andrew there uh, let's talk about yeah. let's talk about his money uh, i mean we we got the story last week that uh, he was dismayed and bemused apparently yeah. that uh, king charles having inherited 650 million from his mum uh, wasn't sharing this money around uh, and that andrew was seeing nothing of it uh, we learnt down the way as you just indicated charlie that he gets 250,000 quid a year or hitherto has got that from the, the monarch, uh, so Charlie's been paying that up. Charlie clearly doesn't want to carry on giving him that much. Part of the, uh, apparently, is apart from getting this money, apparently all his bills, and I, I don't know if other royals are like this, but all his bills are handed to the privy purse uh, to be settled by the king. And apparently the king was going through the accounts uh, saying, right. what, am I, what am I paying Andrew for here? And he found one bill, 30, <laughs> we did this story yesterday, uh, £32,000 a year uh, for hiring an Indian healer. Uh, Prince Charles, who likes that, kind of thing you know he's a bit new age and hippie-ish but he yeah. drew the line line there and said wait a second no I mean, way i mean thirty-two thousand pounds a year and even the king thought that this was just over the over yeah the for, for andrew for, to get a hit now this healer came uh and i think he spent uh a three month weeks, or something weeks, a month or so uh with with andrew so he could sit on his living room uh chanting om or whatever <laughs> to, to get his mind right well clearly this this mystic whoever he is hasn't done a very very good job because andrew is in terrible terrible problems uh still all over the place and and i think the king you're absolutely quite right he's going through the bills and, and looked at him hang on a minute you know <laughs> a mystic you know just sort of help him help his mental health this is ridiculous so he's told him he's got to pay for that himself he's going to 
Yeah. If he's going to carry on using it. And yeah. there's some indication, Charlie, that standing sort of almost next to him, another person who will not be given a prominent position, uh, will be uh, Prince Harry, because the word is that Prince Harry might be the only member of his family that attends, uh, leaving Meghan and the kids back in California, and that he's going to be given a place uh, uh, in what they call Iceland, you know, the well, kind of well, Siberia of the, uh, of the pews. Well, whatever happens, um, Andrew, Beatrice and Eugenie are not having a formal role in the coronation. Uh, if Harry comes over, and I still doubt it, but if Harry does come over with Meghan and the kids or him on his own, he too will not play a major role in the coronation. Except, of course, Kevin, the problem is that we're now seven weeks away from the coronation. We're still talking about whether Harry and Meghan are going to come because they've, they've got an invitation. They have. The kids haven't yet. They've got an invitation, but they haven't responded. So you've got the palace people making two plans, one with them, including them, one not including them. And the problem we've got now is whatever happens at this coronation is already going to be tainted because if Harry comes, there's going to be a huge stories about Harry Beatty. You can imagine what's going to happen. We're going to get all the body experts out. We're going to get all the, yeah. <laughs> the lip readers out the to see what the score is and everything. I mean, it's going to be, if he doesn't come, it's another big story. So the coronation is going to be marred because of the family itself. Uh, you know, Harry and uh, the bad boys of, of, the, of, of the royal family, Harry and, and Andrew. And, and I don't see any way around. I mean, Andrew's got himself embroiled in another court case in America to do with Jeffrey Epstein. I mean, his chances of, uh, you know, get, getting back again, as we've discussed him on a number of occasions, on the royal treadmill and earning, you know, and being a re representative of the royal family, and less than nil. Yeah. It's just impossible for him to do anything. Uh, indeed, yeah, because that uh, the Virginia Graffray is now suing a couple of banks, isn't there? Isn't she? Well, so let's, let's go back to Harry and Meghan. Now we know how they make their living. Now they monetize their connection to the royal family. Uh, so uncomfortable though it might be, uh, I think that this couple uh, will be minded to try to attend the coronation because it possible. maintains their close connection to the royal family, yes. and that's how they make money. Yes. So the danger, though, if and they and I'm. Sure Sure, they will be invited. The danger is, Charlie, if they do attend, their presence could turn this sacred ceremony into something of a circus. Yeah, absolutely. There, there is no doubt. It's going to be a circus anyway now, whether they turn up or not turn up, because it's constant. It's practically every day we're, we're looking at. We know they've been invited. We know that Harry and Meghan have been invited. They're still. They're still. How? How ignorant of them not to almost RSVP immediately and say, yes, we're going to come or no, we're not going to come. It is incredible what these two are, are doing. Now, if they bring the kids, fine. It'll be a great day out for little Archie. It'll be his fourth birthday anyway. Uh, so that's a great, great present to see his granddad, right. Right. Uh, you know, get, being cranking. And let's not forget... For a great many people, this is a very, very significant occasion. A lot of people will not see another coronation. Yeah, this is the, this is a once in a lifetime scenario you've got here, and I'm afraid you know Harry and Meghan, um, you know, I, I, I seem to be doing their best to taint it in yeah. some way. Or uh, they do, they do indeed. Um, what what's Meghan up to? She seems to have gone rather quiet, doesn't she? Yeah, Harry, great, Harry's it? been catching all the flack, making all, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, don't knock it. Let's <laughs> <laughs> not let's not pull the stick too much, Kevin. Yeah. But she it, it, exactly right. Uh, but she is she not reviving, relaunching her lifestyle blog? Yeah, the, the well, tig, I was talk the tig, yeah, the, the yeah. stig or tig or whatever. The tig, yeah. yeah. The Tig, whatever whatever it's called, she was supposed to be uh, doing some sort of Gwyneth Paltrow style lifestyle scenario. So I'm I'm sure that will go down well in this in the streets of Grimsby. Uh, yes, can't wait, uh, Charlie. 